but to the big dot, uh, the big center there, that is the International Space Station. And again, Dragon is flying autonomously, so they are not manually flying Dragon. Um, that is not what they're using the display panels for. They are just using those displays to monitor uh, their progress. Some visual cameras to, to align with the docking port. So it's really important that we don't have that sunlight from the International Space Station. You can see what we were mentioning earlier where Dragon was below the station. Uh, you could see that previously when it had Earth in the background. Now it is almost adjacent. Uh, the features of the space station coming into view very clearly. Yeah, you can see a lot of the detail there. And as you mentioned, the uh, Crew-1 Dragon. SpaceX copies, visors are down. We may enter into a hold at waypoint two. We are still awaiting ground go for final approach. And verifying all systems are go to proceed with docking. Really start to see the detail on Dragon there as it is closing in on docking. That's right, two and a half meters, 30 seconds, no space station. Got this really awesome view of Dragon as it is connected to the port. Current docking, everything happened right on cue uh, and as expected. Uh, so it was a great to see Crew Jag and Endeavor dock to the International Space Station once again. We've enjoyed it from he here. He is the first to ingress onto the International Space Station. And Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> and Gwyn Gwyn. <laughs> Followed by Tama Pesquet from the European Space Agency. <laughs> Lots of hugs and smiles right now. Pilot uh, Megan MacArthur of Crew 2 is next being welcomed by the Expedition 65 crew members <laughs> and, and Shane Kimbrough bringing up the rear. The 11-person crew of Expedition 65 now together inside No. 2 of the International Space Station. Mission Control Hawthorne just go undergoing a series of checks. We're just really excited to be here and be part of this historic mission um, with the two dragons on board, first reuse of a capsule, first reuse of a booster. It's just an, a, a tremendous achievement on behalf of our, our partner SpaceX. So I want to congratulate and thank them. And uh, we're just we're so excited to be here. We're ready to get to work. There's a lot of uh, great science um, that that I know we're going to be <laughs> we're going to be doing, and uh, we're just excited to learn and get started.